really raises the question about Adam Schiff. You remember when he told the American people he had proof? Representative Anna Paulina Luna filed a motion to expel Representative Adam Schiff from Congress. The Florida Republican filed the motion in the wake of the Durham report, which cast doubt on the idea the FBI should have ever begun its crossfire hurricane investigation into allegations of collusion between former President Donald Trump and the Russian government during the 2016 election. Schiff pushed allegations of Trump-Russia collusion for years and played a major role in the first impeachment of Trump. The Russians offered help, which we know they did. The campaign accepted help, which we know they did. There is circumstantial evidence of collusion. But there is more than circumstantial evidence. I think there's plenty of evidence of collusion or conspiracy. Luna tweeted, Schiff lied to the American people. He used his position on House Intel to push a lie that cost American taxpayers millions of dollars. He is a dishonor to the House of Representatives. She went on to say the Durham report coming out makes him unfit for office and ethics should investigate. What he put America through and openly lied to us, and now it's proven in this as well, it raises a lot of questions about his, just his character, his standing inside of Congress, or whether he should be, even be in Congress. It didn't take long for Schiff to respond. He tweeted, Breaking news, a MAGA Republican member of Congress just filed a motion to expel me from the U.S. House of Representatives. I stood up to Donald Trump and held MAGA forces accountable. Now they want payback. They'll go after anyone who defends the rule of law. The California Democrat utilized the attack to fundraise for his run for Senate, saying nobody stood up to Donald Trump and the extreme MAGA forces more than Adam did. And now MAGA Republicans want payback. Schiff is running to replace Senator Dianne Feinstein in the Senate, going up against Representative Katie Porter and Representative Barbara Lee.